So what is the 180 degree rule? And when can I break it? If you've taken even one class on film, you've likely heard about crossing the line and how forbidden this is. But it's for good reason. In a dialogue scene, establishing which direction each character is looking in is fundamental. It applies to fight scenes too. Have the characters punch in the same direction and now we're confused. As an editor, you don't want this. But what if you did? The 180 rule is in place to ensure screen engagement between your subjects. It's natural, straightforward, and presented how you'd watch a conversation in real life. If we went from here and then cut to here, how does this make you feel? You might not even know why, but it's jarring. But this is on purpose. Matt Damon's character has just learned tragic news and the 180 break symbolizes the shock. In The Shining, Stanley Kubrick frames wides from both sides of the room. He knew this would work because his close-ups adhere by the 180 rule. This way we have the uneasiness of the break, but none of the confusion. So what does this mean? It means the 180 rule can be broken as long as it's used as a device to further the story. Unbroken, it's a rule for visual grammar. Broken, it can be used as a technique. You just need to remember why it's a rule and have a strong reason why to break it. Follow for more.